moment. Life doesn't really work that way. This is film. You gotta paint it with a big brush. You don't like my romantic comedy idea? I could play the part of a girlfriend. I don't know about that. What I really want to make is like it takes place on this planet in the future and it could be Earth. But I think it's some parallel universe that only looks like Earth and it's called Cybertron. And there's this warrior princess, Blonda, and she can like melt things with her mind. I don't know. Don't you think that's a little isn't it like the film we saw a few weeks ago? No, no, it's not like that at all. It's more like there are these two cyborg races, and they're at war, and Blonda is one of the rebels, and like you could play her. It would be just so great. So, the great Blonda, we shall see how easily your rebellion crumbles without its warrior princess. <laughs> Even a warrior princess cannot survive my crystal rod of death. Suck my mind, you Gorlon worm! That's my thing! It's my thing! What? What? Okay, you guys, that was great. And like, can we get one more take? And this time, Blonda, could you be more emotional? Like, like you really despise the Gorlon and... Hey, who let that giant three-toed sloth in here? Somebody stop him! over 200 bucks for that light. Damn it! Oh, damn it all! Man, that was just awful today. No, it was great! Where the Gorlon's mind is melting, man, that was so cool. It was really urgent. No, it was just, I don't know, it's like I don't have that, that creative vision or whatever that I used to have. You ever hear of a drug called Drug Man? It's the most urgent stuff. What's it do? It frees your mind, man. It makes you like instantly more creative and smart, and it turns you into a total love machine with the ladies, too. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Here, take some. I don't know, Rock. I told Tina I'd come over later, and I got the morning shift at the copy store tomorrow, and. Ah, uh, screw them all, man. This is just what you need here. Come on. I don't think this is such a great idea, Rock. If I freak out or whatever, I'll have to kick your ass. Come on, I have four other people in film class who'd love to get their hands on this, you know? Don't you feel it, man? No, I don't. Well, maybe something. No great ideas yet. Hey, I got an idea, man. Why don't you try out the love machine part, man? Check out that girl at the other end of the bar. Oh, I think she's in my lit class, but she never talks to anybody. Excuses, excuses. Get your ass down there, Mr. Love Machine, big film director. The name's Sock. James Sock. Um, hi. Oh, hi. What's up? You're in Lit 352, right? Isn't Professor Hillman just a prick? You're not too good at small talk, are you? Um, I, I guess you're right. Hey, uh, let's go to your place and have sex. You'll have to come up with a better pickup line than that. In fact, you'll have to come up with just the most incredible pickup line ever. Wait, um, I can't, uh, oh, 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 oh. Are you done? I don't know what you're complaining about. At least you have Jim, and even though he drinks a little once in a while, he would never cheat on you. Yeah, but he's so... You know, he's into his films or whatever. It's like I don't exist. I just want to shake him sometimes. Oh, that must be...
be him now. Jim, is that you? Hi, Tina. Mary, uh, Jim's kind of, um, uh, wasted. Uh, you want to come with me and, uh, get him? Damn, not again. Where is he? It looks like your boyfriend is becoming an alcoholic. Shut up. Let's go, stoner boy. I hope he's okay. I don't know what you see in him. He's such a loser. See, when I get out of school, I'm gonna get an MSCPR certified, and I'm really gonna be raking in the dough. Who the hell do you think you are? You're a brain-dead stoner who lives in your parents' basement, and don't you ever talk about Jim that way. Ooh, the little lady's got some fire in her. Turns me on when you get so urgent. <laughs> That was strange and dangerous. Oh, now I have a whole new perspective. Let's get out of here. He will make a good specimen. We will start with the anal probe. Why does that not surprise me? So, what's the deal with all these men? I know just what you mean. I mean, they're all either married or gay or just total controlling loser alcoholics. Yeah. Or dead. You know what they say, the only good man mm -hmm. is a killer lesbian vampire. Uh, I'm not familiar with that saying. Cut! Print it! It's a wrap! You were wonderful, my love. God, so in love with you! Arkansas.